What is going on everybody? Nazdarachi coming back at you today with another video for Dragon Ball Legends. Now I do apologize if my eyes look super red. I have poison ivy all over my face and like an idiot I rub my eyes so that's why I look like I'm stoned out of my mind right now. But that aside I'll be going to get that maybe checked out by medical people later. I haven't quite figured that out yet. We have had some pretty important overnight maintenance done in the game. Quite a few little updates here that we're going to cover in this video. I'm going to try and power through everything they added. Now the first thing is the PvP season has reset. So we are now into the third space time battle, whatever they call it, but the third PvP season. So all your scores have been reset. You received your exchange currency. And with the new PvP system, that's kind of what I'm going to dive into first. What I have on screen, when you play PvP now, you can earn gold equipment and EX cards from playing PvP. This is a major, major step forward in the game because the game itself, so centered around PvP, now are actually starting to get some more substantial rewards, more incentive to play, and unfortunately more incentive for more people to cheat. But I guess we'll have to see how they deal with that. I'm sure they're going to respond in time. They seem to be kind of tying up loose ends and patching a bunch of bugs and glitches, all sorts of other cool stuff like that. So. I think that's pretty neat. You can actually earn some pretty cool rewards from PvP now. So I, I beat that guy, got EX, Goku, and uh, gold equipment for Broly here. So that's really cool. But now, getting back to the main menu, we're going to dive into all the updates here. Now the first thing we can do is check out the kind of patch notes that they put out. Now all of you guys can do this, but I found that They've included a lot of stuff that they did not put into these notes here. So the first thing we can see is they added more hard mode story missions. So more crystals to farm, exchange currency, potential levels for EXP farming. But just remember, you don't get equipment that I know of. I haven't tried these new missions yet. But you don't get any equipment from the story mode. So you will be farming your friendship levels at the cost of not really getting a whole lot of zenny because you know the the events are where you get the equipment to sell but now from pvp this might be a game changer because if you get a lot of extra gold equipment from pvp to sell pvp might be the new best way to farm zenny so i'm gonna have to dig into that and check it out of course i will report back to you guys but along with pvp because you get adventure cards as rewards there are now three star adventure job requests, whatever you want to call them, available. Previously we had the one and the two stars. I haven't gotten any of the three stars. I don't know if you send three characters. There's three character slots. It'll probably take an hour, seeing as how it was like 30 minutes, 45. Now we're probably looking at an hour for these adventures. Again, I haven't actually earned any yet that I know of. We can check it out real quick and see if I got one off the... Uh, battle I won when you saw the, the screen cap entering the video. So updated items in the exchange shop. All they added was a new outfit for uh, Shallot. It is a Saiyan Saga, you know, Scouter Vegeta costume. We can go check that out really quick as well. It costs 500 exchange coins. Other than that, nothing in the exchange shop has changed that I saw. Uh, some error fixes here. I'm not going to go over all these. You guys can read through little bug fixes and stuff. So they have those three main things right there. But some other stuff that's super important that I noticed. If you go into the missions tab, they added, you know, just like the get your characters to 1000 campaign. They have added a whole bunch of missions. And a lot of them seem to be PvP and Ginyu Force oriented. As you can see right here on the screen. Completing 10 of these uh, dreadful boot camp or training camp, boot camp, whatever you want to call them, missions, you will get a no star sparking Ginyu for free. So if you were not able to summon him, this is a way to get a free sparking card. Granted, it won't have the two stars that you would get, you know, 600 points worth for summoning him, but for free to play players, this is still extremely friendly. Again, this company right here, be it Bandai directly or whatever developer they've contracted, is giving us ways to earn the featured banner cards for free. 
So still something that, you know, is a little bit more, you know, relevant in Dokken nowadays with guaranteed summons, but still, there's no way to earn the featured brand new cards as reliably in Dokken as there's in this game. So again, I'm going to give them a pat on the back for that. Now, scrolling through the missions here, you will see tons of missions for earning Chrono Crystals here. You'll easily be able to earn one, two, maybe even three multi-summons, maybe even more depending on you know how many of these missions you're able to complete, as well as hard mode stages, events, etc, etc. So silver equipment, using the Ginyu Force now, uh, you'll get silver equipment, winning PvP, you get a bunch of milk crates and crystals for that, completing missions. PvP 6 times, 15 times, 20 times with the Ginyu Force, battle using Captain Ginyu 5, 10, 20, 30. So you see here, these are just kind of easy missions that you can do that just require you to play the game. Use Jeece, use Birder, use Raccoon, Goldo, yep, all the Ginyu Forces in here. Tons of Zenny and Chrono Crystals just for using the Ginyu Force and getting 200 Rising Souls. That one doesn't seem to be retroactive there. So that's interesting, but scrolling forward here, tons of ways to get your soul boost materials, Zenny, more hero cards, a sparking Ginyu, so really awesome. Right there is where those challenges end, because we're back down to the pink header here, which is still the uh, thank you campaign, the many thanks campaign. And then down the bottom, you'll have the actual Ginyu event that's going on, specific challenges. So. Definitely dive in and knock out as much of this stuff as you can you guys It's a free way to earn just tons of resources a sparking card and you know We thumb through all of it there You'll get multi summons for free from this which hopefully will net you more sparking cards, so Definitely cool that they added all this free way to earn materials as well as the three-star adventures more hard mode the PvP itself has been reset like I had mentioned, so if you were to go into the exchange shop here, hopefully you earned enough currency. I already spent all mine on the outfit and more sp uh, Spirit Bomb Gokus, but here, let's go check out that outfit. Since I already bought it here, we can check it out. As you can see here, Vegeta's battle suit. Can we preview it? Yeah, let's preview, preview it. So we got Vegeta's battle suit here. No scouter, but just Shallot wearing Saiyan Saga Vegeta armor. It's interesting that while wearing this costume, he's actually using his tail as a belt because previously with him, we've seen that he kind of just leaves his tail hanging out all wild-like. So you can pick this up for 500 exchange coins. Not sure I would recommend it if you're you know, placed low and you don't have very many coins. You may want to invest those in the Spirit Bomb Goku instead, but that's something that's available and for you to check out there. Um, I don't think there's anything new in the shop. Let's check it out here. So yeah, they didn't update anything in the shop there. So basically we have our PvP reset. Uh, no new summon banners. We did get, um, with the three star adventures, I'm going to wager a guess that the training bell is going to become available option as a training item. Like we have the milk crates, the training weights. I think the bell is going to start making an entrance into the game yet. Again, something that I can report back to you once I've completed some of the three-star adventures. Oh, let's check. Let's just see if I got one. No, only two stars. So I need to farm some PvP and get some of those. I'll, again, report back to you guys on that. But, again, check out your customization. Check out your um, Spear Bomb Goku if you earned enough points for you to purchase some more of him. Start playing some PvP to not only earn the rewards from the missions, but to actually start getting your gold equips and some more EX card points for mastery stars for them. Like super cool again there. I think that might be everything that they have added. We covered story. I uh, don't think there's anything else in here. Yep, still says preview, so there's not actually any new story yet, just hard mode. Oh yeah, they added a Scout Battle versus Raccoon and Geese here. So if you have, uh, you know, some spare energy, you want to farm those up, you'll probably get some decent soul orbs from them, because I got a decent amount from uh, Birder and Goldo here. So Geese and Raccoon are both new. Um, I think that may be it, you guys. Three Star Adventures, the Vegeta outfit, Hard Mode Story, the Training Bell, probably an option. 
Uh, tons of missions for you guys to get tons of free crystals and other rewards to do some summons with. The PvP reset happened, so check that out. Um, I think we, again, I think we've covered everything. Gold equipment is in the game now. You'll get that from PvP. And let's end the video with some discounted daily YOLOs, shall we? Now, off camera, after the collab with Demonte, I did end up pulling another PyCon and another Pan, both off daily YOLOs. So I'm not expecting anything great here, you guys. So let's keep our fingers crossed and maybe something will happen. I, I, I doubt it. <laughs> Lots of pods. No Super Saiyan. This is a daily YOLO. Again, a 1% chance of pulling a particular sparking unit with about a 5% collective. So we had lots of pods, but only blue text. Nothing outstanding happening after that. Oh! We got the victory on the blast. What is that? Oh my goodness. Why did I do this banner first, you guys? Why did I do that banner first? No, another Piccolo. Well... One more pull and he'll be six stars. That's crazy, you guys. That means out of my past three days worth of daily summons, I've now gotten three sparking units. So I hope you guys are having amazing luck. As always, I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments. Let me know how your dailies have gone. Let me know, oh, only 21 hours left. Oh, I could do a multi on Broly here. I don't think I'm going to do a multi on Broly, but I certainly could. Yeah, this is going to be the doo-doo here. No way we're going to get two sparkings back to back. Yep, Goku lost. Maybe an EX card? Maybe? Nope, just a hero. Good old Chiaotzu. So the Broly banner. I did end up walking with just one copy of Broly. He is an amazing unit, you guys. So hopefully you were able to snag one of him as well. I think you have like 18 hours left or so for the banner before it disappears. So... Oh, no pods. Nothing. I think I might just skip this animation, you guys. Yep, it was a hero. So, we called the bluff there. No transforming Goku or Spirit Bomb on that one. We still came out with another Sparking Piccolo. That's pretty absurd. Again, just repeat myself one more time. I hope you guys did have great luck. Let me know down below what you managed to pull on your daily YOLOs or any multis you may be doing on Broly or Frieza as well. If you have any questions about some of the updates, anything else they may have added, I may have forgotten something. I'm just kind of thumbing through this at like 3.30 in the morning, poison ivy all in my eyes. So if I did forget anything, let me know down below in the comments. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Check out the summon collab me and Dimani did if you haven't seen that already. And if you're new here, I'd love to see you again on future videos. So hopefully you'll toss me a sub with the notification bell turned on. If you enjoyed the video, Give me a thumbs up if you're one of those types of people. Help spread me out on YouTube and beat these tough-ass algorithms. So hopefully I will see you guys again soon. And anything else, leave in the comments down below. Again, I think we covered everything here. So any balance changes to PvP, anything I forgot, I will cue you guys in in the future. And until that time, I hope you guys have a great week. I'll be seeing you soon. This is Nazdaraj. Well, hopefully I'll be seeing you soon anyway. I don't know. Yeah, I'll be seeing you guys soon, so have a great one. Peace out, y'all. I'll catch you next time. Later.